Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can run Laravel project downloaded from GitHub or other places like Cool Drive. So first of all we need to download the Laravel project. So here in order to download the Laravel project from the GitHub we just need to go to the project depository then click on this code option and here you can see download zip option. If we now click on it, it will download a zip file there you can see it downloaded a zip file so right now we will go to the zip file location and this is the zip file that we just downloaded so let me just cut this from here and we're going to paste it in the new volume a Control v or you can also right click and click on this paste icon as well after that we need to extract this zip file again just right click on this zip file then click on extract all and we want to create a laravel project directly in the new volume a so let me just remove this name from here and we'll only keep the new volume a over here then click on extract so it will start extracting our zip file this will take a few seconds depending on the project size it may take a minute so right now i will just fast forward the video and here you can see the extract is complete right now we will just go inside the folder and there you can see this is the laravel project structure now we need to write some command in the project directory so in order to write the command we need to open a command prompt in the project directory for it you need to go at the top then click here right here cmd press enter it will open a command prompt you need to write this command which is composer install then press enter and make sure that you are in the project directory then write this command and press enter so this will download and install some required packages for this certain project this will take some time it may take one minute two minute or even five minutes so again i will just fast forward the video And there you can see the composer install command is done. After that, we need to close this command prompt. And I want you to follow me exactly what I am doing. Okay. So we'll close it. After that, we need to open this project using a code editor. You can use any code editor like Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So let me search for Visual Studio Code. And I'll open the project in the Visual Studio Code with this, this on. First of all, you need to go to this .env.example file and we need to rename this file. In order to rename it, just right click, then click on rename and stop env.example. We are only going to say here .env. So we'll rename our file to .env. After that, we are going to change our database name. So the database name will be, let's say, example underscore let's say git or anything uh, you can give the database name anything you want so make sure that you first give your database name after giving the database name we are going to write a command so make sure that you first change the database name then again we will go to our project directory which is this one we will open another command prompt and we are going to write a command here php artisan key clone generate and make sure that before you write this command you change the database them and then press enter so this will generate a key and you will see the key over here your key will be changed after that again let me just go to the project directory and here you can see this is the project that we just downloaded so in the project the SQL file may be included or may not be included. If the SQL file is included, then that's great. But if the SQL file is not included, then what you need to do is that you just need to go to the common prompt and you need to say here PHP addition migrate. But before that, you need to open your XAMPP. So I'm going to go to the XAMPP control panel and let's start the Apache and MySQL. So after starting the Apache and MySQL, you need to write in the command prompt PHP artisan migrate and press enter. 
so it will ask you a question the database example underscore kit does not exist uh, which we mentioned over here so we need to create it so would you like to create it we are going to say here yes then press enter so this will create a database and it will also migrate those table in that database after that we can just say here php artisan serve and press enter this will run our project let me just copy this Control c let's go to our browser paste it here and press enter and there you can see this is our laravel project that we just downloaded from the github and we are able to successfully run it and let me just go to the sam dashboard then paste my admin over here and the database we created us uh, example underscore git this one and we just directly migrate it uh, using a command using this command php addition migrate but we have the sql file over here in our project since we just directly migrate it uh, it means there is no product data coming from the database right so what i'm going to do is that uh, let's say that you have a sql file included with your project in that case uh, let me just drop those table from here there you can see our example underscore git database is empty right now so we are going to import this sql file to our database for it here just click on the database then click on import and here you can see a choose file option so we are going to drag this dot sql file to our here there you can see sql file upload is successful if i now click on our database there you can see there is some table over here and if we go to any table there is some data and if we now there you can see there is no product over here and if we now just refresh our project you will see some product over here there you go so this is how you can run your laravel project downloaded from github i try to make this as simple as possible if you still have any question or any confusion or if you face any issue then let me know 